Good morning, vlog. There's the Howard University Hospital. Here we go. Okay, y'all, here goes the Howard University Barnes and Nobles. Howard University. In 300 feet. What's up, vlog? We just arrived at the best HU there is, Howard University. So today, as y'all know, is the tour, so stay tuned. about to blow away. Thank you. 
about our kids. We have a milk pail and paper right next to our wall call. And those kids. Before I get started, does anyone want to guess how many floors are in Founders? And also, um, Brown Russian Board of Education, they also did some work in here. So the same seats that you're sitting inside studying are the same seats that um, a lot of famous people sat in before you, a lot of historical figures. So for me, that's like motivation, you know, like they were in the same space as you, um, great people. That's a pretty cool thing. Another thing is that founders, um, before the African American Museum opened and housed majority, most of the African um, historical artifacts can think of the word artifacts so um whenever you get the chance to go into founders we do have a museum where you can walk and um take a look at some of the artifacts that we house sorry we can't take you in right now but <laughs> another day when you come back you're more than welcome to go in and to the right of founders is UGL the undergraduate library another library on campus they all we also have a cast inside of that library where you can use your dining dollar that was previously mentioned it's similar to Jasmine's cafe style. You can get coffee, smoothies, teas, and other pastries in between your classes. Again, be smart and budget your money. Don't be like me. Swipe today. So you can go to any of the dining halls and use a swipe for more buffet style. But if you use your dining dollars, you can use them in punch out, which is also housed. Um, inside of Blackburn, which is more kind of fast food style, we have wings, halal shack, um, uh, there's a pasta line, things like that you can use your dining dollars for. And also the convenience stores are on campus, which will pass by whenever we walk here. Yeah. Of both, you can refill both. And then also your parents can add on to the dining dollars. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> you're saying that. You're saying that now, but right now, if you think you're gonna go to the cafeteria anymore, you can use those more. And then we have meal plans that are gonna be more of your dining dollars. But be careful because when you run out, you run out. Unless your parents want to be very gracious and add to your okay. My parents did not. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> yeah. You gotta figure it out. Yeah, I gotta figure it out. <laughs> Any questions about our um, tea library? Still holding on with the weather. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's important. Oh, yeah, every time. Okay. I've been doing it for a long time. Okay, so what we're seeing in front of is our chapel on campus. This is going to be our third national monument on campus. One of the really cool facts about this is that Martin Luther King used to come here in his off time and, uh, and do marriage ceremonies, which is really interesting. We used to hold our chapel services in here, but like I said, as our school group, Chapel grew as well, and now we're just housed in our um, Clarkson Auditorium. Um, the chapel is also the sponsor of a really cool program at Howard University called Alternative Spring Break, and that is going to be an opportunity for students to come in and on their spring break, instead of going to Miami or Puerto Rico, they go and they go and do service around the country and internationally. One of our, um, our motto here at Howard University is in truth and service, and this is one of the ways that we really like to um, implement that and use our free time to help people in need. I was able to go to a predator spring break. Our spring break was two weeks ago and I was able to go to El Paso, Texas and it was a really amazing opportunity. I got to work with a lot of migrant farm workers. I got to work with autistic children and young adults. It was one of the most amazing experiences. I advise everybody to, you know, use your good sense, but we do have safety measures on campus to allow you guys to be as safe as possible. So we have our safety lights around campus. You can press them and an officer will be dispatched to you within 90 seconds. We also have a virtual option. If you're not near one of these poles, we have our Bison Safe app, which all of our students are required to have because of COVID to get into every building, but it also has the safety light feature where you can call an officer and they will be dispatched to you. 
and they will walk you to wherever you need to go. We also have a curfew option on the Bison Safe, which students hate and parents love, which if you say it's final season and you're studying in Founders Library and you want to be home by 2 a.m., if you are not back at your dorm by 2 a.m., it's going to alert all your emergency contacts, and then it is also going to alert our police, and they're going to go looking for you to make sure you, you know, are okay. It's green right now, and it's cold. <laughs> I hope I don't fall. Let's stop right now. Buffet style 
They have the um, they have different stations like stir fry stations, uh, pizza stations, and then we also have our Soul Food Thursday, which is in Annette's also in Blackbird Cafeteria. And we do have a convenience store, Annette's um, store that connects to the cafeteria where you can get snacks with your dining dollars. You can get toilet paper and any toiletries like that, a toothpaste, um, different things like that in the convenience store. And next is um, a co-ed dormitory, typically a co-ed dormitory and typically for sophomores, but again due to COVID to house more people. Right now it's housing um, freshmen and sophomores. Any questions about the part in CHN is if you want to, you know, have that sisterly bond and be bothered a lot, you stay in quad and if you kind of are more reserved and you want to keep yourself, you don't always want like your roommates like all throughout your room, I would suggest um, a collective school. And one more um, housing to the right of Anna's here is College Hall South. Again, this is typically for um, sophomores, but due to COVID, it's housing freshmen and sophomores, and it's typically a co-ed dorm. Again, that's suite style, so if you're not into community style bathrooms, uh, you can stay there. And um, College Hall South has a multi-purpose room underneath it and classrooms, so maybe you'll get lucky enough to have a class right underneath your room, roll out of bed, and walk straight to class. I was not lucky enough to have a there. We got any questions about College Hall South? Or Disclaimer guys, they have not let us inside the building in all year. We're gonna show y'all the best I can show y'all, at least for us, so I can see y'all. So to school here. So guys, that concluded the tour and now we're going inside the real books. Oh.